morning 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 party people how are we um it's women's football weekend we've got a weekend of the year dedicated to the women's game and we are going to go for it this weekend i have put my kids out the back to get some fresh air then we're going to head to brisbane road uh, for the north london derby uh, i think i can call how this one's going to go i think but then you never know spurs might throw up a little upset they might be free of the shackles under Vicky Jepson since Rianne Skinner's left. And Arsenal played midweek, of course, in the Champions League. So we'll see how that one goes. But I actually thought uh, the Merseyside Derby teed up women's football weekend perfectly. It was a really good game of football. Both had lots to offer. Um, Liverpool will be walking away feeling aggrieved. But I actually think Katie Stengel's first goal was a little bit offside. Um, I think a few of us do think that as well. Um, and then the, the foul on Courtney Brosnan, the Everton goalkeeper, meant their second goal was disallowed. Uh, also that Jess Park goal for Everton, um, brilliant goal, um, but handball. And it was a handball. Um, so yeah, lots of things to take away from that game, but I actually thought it was a good game. And 22,000 there for Friday night of Women's Football Weekend. I just think there's a lot to be said for that. And if you were there at that game, good for you. I take my hat off to you. You're a good good person. Right, get the kids in the car, Brisbane Road next. to get to. Even more of a nightmare when you bring two kids under four who cannot sit in their seat. Exhibit A, we're now out by the hot dog stands and the bog and stairs just being a little bit interesting. What are you doing? What's happening? Fresh from the North London Derby, 5-1 Arsenal. Go on, Yeah, go on, Aoife. Aoife Mannion. Aoife Mannion. Um, I couldn't vlog because I had children. Good result. North London is... Red. Yeah, great result. I mean, I think... It was tough conditions. It was a tough pitch to play on, but got through it. It was a tough week for us being in Germany as well with Champions League and day off tomorrow to recover and then we go again Wednesday. Um, people are saying you are a diving, cheating, simulating scumbag. Who's saying that? Not Russia. I actually didn't. I said, <coughs> you um, said it was fair. You said it was fair. <coughs> your one didn't really need to go steaming them like that. And then you left your leg out and she said it. So you've, I mean, the ref should have looked and went, you weren't getting on the end of the ball, it was, do you know what I mean? But she didn't need to go f flying in anyway, do you know what I mean? I agree. But you know what you're doing, because you always do that. <laughs> and uh, when you gave away the penalty, but it held her face. Um, that was... Uh, it hit my face. Yeah, it looked so sore. Um, yeah, it was It was a penalty though. I have, um, I have to say, um, Spurs are so disappointing this season. So disappointing. And they had such a good turnout. Anyway, North London is red. Up the Arsenal! Women's Football Weekend, day three. Oh my God, I cannot believe the City-Chelsea result. I cannot believe it. Well, I can believe it, but oh my word. This league is wide open. Absolutely floor open. I, I, I just, I can't believe it. I mean... I actually previewed this game for TalkSport and this morning thinking all through I was like, Do you know what, Man City going for 14 games unbeaten, Chelsea might have tired legs after Champions League midweek or they might be running on momentum. Also, we, we were aware that Millie Bright might not have played today but nothing was confirmed. 
um, but not in the squad. And uh, there you go. There you have it. Uh, Manchester City 2, Chelsea 0. I, I am sure Emma Hayes will be absolutely livid. I have to be very, very honest. I didn't see any of the games. I listened to Chelsea City on the radio at times. I had this um, farm family thing sorted and it was really, really sweet. But I'm shocked. I am shocked. Um, Chelsea back in third on the table but of course they still have that game in hand man united at the top and manchester united in second um and manchester united did a head-on goal difference arsenal in fourth i mean it's concerning for arsenal because city don't look like they're going anywhere city don't look like they're dropping i suppose city have their their full focus on the league you know, I am surprised. I am so surprised at how this is looking. Um, so interesting result there. You've also got to hand um, the flowers to Reading um, after their performance today as well, because uh, taking on Bur uh, Brighton and both both struggling. Let's let's be sure about that. But uh, you know, Brighton started the scoring at eight minutes and thirteen minutes through via Tricky Sari and. They come back into it in the second half to take a point from that. But looking at the table, you know, there's there's definite concern for Reading, you know, that, that there has to be, and, and for Brighton. I mean, they're just languishing in ninth and 11th, but Brighton have two games in hand. Also, Leicester, rock bottom with that table just now, and another demoralising defeat for them today at the hands of Aston Villa. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised with Aston Villa. They're just on such brilliant form. They've got they've got tough games ahead of them, of course, in the league. Um, but the, this form that they're on at the minute is just so much, so much energy, so much power. Rachel Daly got a brace today. Not surprised whatsoever. Um, and also Alicia Lehman got a brace as well. Our girl Alicia, Kenza Daly getting the other one as well. And that all took place at Villa Park. Um, a, a brilliant weekend, a, an absolutely excellent weekend and so much happening, so much going on and, and it's Women's Football Weekend as well. It was nice to get out and be part of it yesterday, such a short vlog because I was with my kids and it's hard to do anything when they are there at a football game. Um, but yeah, an, another really successful weekend is what it feels like but the, the story is, is that the Women's Super League is such an exciting league. Um, even dropping down then into the championship uh, and a big win for Bristol um, as well today. Um, lots lots to talk about, lots to get into. I'm going to try and get a video out tomorrow with Roosh um, uh, and see how that goes as well. But yeah, shocking vlog from me today. I was hoping to give you something really meaty, but I wasn't there and part of it. Uh, but looking at that table, there you go. Manchester United sitting at the top of the WSL at this stage the competitions that's good of course Arsenal and Chelsea still have those games in hand um that game sorry in hand um exciting times exciting times it has been um and yeah well on, on to the next see the footballer people